Um, I'm going to teach you how to draw a sketch of the changing right before YouTube takes the uh, what's it called Photoshop uh, slideshow. So I began on the piece already because I was making the previous video on this, but I had dinner and therefore I did not get to finish it. Also deleted the video. And I'm talking softly because it is almost my uh, time to go to sleep because I have school in the morning, but this is my video and I'm going to teach you how to draw a changeling base. So one of the examples that we're using is this. Gotta pet his nose a little bit. Okay. So we're going to use that as our, as our example. So what we did here is what we drew the bottom. Then we started up with the uh, back over here. We brought it. Then we curved it like that. Brought it all the way here. And we summed it off. And what we did was that we drew the arms. And we drew in some more arms. Now what we're in the process of doing is drawing the leg. So let me finish that. All right, so the head is not exactly going to look like that, but we're going to come up with our own head. But in the meanwhile, we're going to draw the tail. So. Or roll. Or half the tail, rather. Simply because the leg is in the way. Or let's draw it over here. So how you're basically drawing this is that you're drawing the base, basically. So what that means is that you're just making an outline of what the character or item actually is. So we're going to continue. Draw the little stripes that are in the tail. And like again, I said, it's not going to come out exactly like this. But... Uh, we're gonna come close to it. So then we're gonna draw the little husk thing right there. That's uh, simply because it's gonna help us uh, measure the head in that way. So you're gonna get your little triangles. So you got a little um, facing up. Then what you're gonna do is that you can see right here. Oh, hold on. So you see what right here, the little line right there? That's gonna be the draw line that we're gonna draw. So, and you could practically use this with the ponies and the uh, elecorns and whatever you wanna draw. Same method. So then we draw the jawline, and I'm going to face it this way, simply because we don't have enough room over here. So, then we're going to curve it, then we're going to make it round. Then, like again, we're going to use a different head, like I said, so we're going to turn that happiness upside down and bring the rest of the beak over here 